Scott. This is a little awkward. What are you doing in my bedroom? Don't worry, Kim. Courtney is fast asleep in the TV room down the hall. We have nothing to worry about. Scott. I didn't say I was worried. I said it was awkward. It's also kind of slimy. Actually, you are kind of slimy. Are you still upset about that hole? Scott Dysick loves Kim Kardashian's butt. Comment that I made to the tabloids. You catch on real quick, Scott. Listen, Kim. I feel your butt about that. I mean, I feel bad about that. I should have mentioned your amazing personality as well as your amazing butt. But the truth is, I just don't know your personality as well as I know your butt. What are you talking about? I am talking about your butt. I watch it all the time. When we are out at parties, I watch your butt from the bar. When you are at the pool, I watch your butt from my deck chair. When you are sleeping, I watch your butt with the infrared spy cam that I ordered online. Your butt is like my imaginary friend. My butt is not your friend. Look, Kimmy. The last thing I am going to do is make your butt uncomfortable. I mean, the last thing I want to do is make you uncomfortable. So to help smooth things over, I have a Valentine's card with me. Listen, Scott. Don't call me Kimmy. And I don't want your Valentine's card. Well, Kimmy. The card is not exactly for you. I said, don't call me. It's for your butt. You bought my butt a Valentine's Day card. I didn't buy it. I made it. It's a Scott Dysick original. It says, don't call me ass in nine for calling you my Valentine. Do you get it? S. In nine. It's like a pun about your butt. I get it's caught. But I don't want it. Now get out of my room. Oh, come on, Kimmy. Just turn around and let me tuck the card in your underwear. How about the back pocket of your jeans? Out. Could I at least leave it in your panty drawer? 